morning guys welcome back to my amazing channel my name is Lizetta Bebo uh, I've just woken up so right now I just want to make some mandazis for breakfast uh, these are the ingredients that I'm using I have wheat flour I have blue band I have cardamom powder I have sugar and half a glass of milk so let's start off by measuring our flour just like that in goes our flour we're going to use three tablespoons of sugar but for sugar, you can put to your liking. Um, then I'm going to use half a teaspoon of cardamom powder. Just like that. So I'm just going to mix this up. Mix that nicely. I'm going to use blue band one spoon. That's enough. So the reason as to why I put my blue band inside here is because my milk was warm so it will be easy for me to mix my blue band so we're just going to, to give it time for the blue band to melt if you don't have blue band you can use butter Don't, don't like using milk you can use water so I'm just going to mix that until the blue bag melts if you want it to melt uh, quickly you can put in a in very hot milk but it is water in your mixing this with my hands yeah, so it has already melted we are going to pour that in here just like that and we're going to mix give it a nice mix You can use um, a wooden spoon to do this for your hands. I'm just going to add a little flour, just like that. And then I go in with my hands. Make sure your hands are clean. Give it a nice mix. I think it's 
smells so good so good so the reason as to why i'm adding a little flour is because i don't want my dough to be too soft or This is very easy to do. You see how my dough is? Almost ready. Make sure it's it's not sticking on your mixing bowl. That's how you know it's ready. Oh my goodness! Yo, the reason as to why I did not put baking powder is because I'm using self-raising flour. But if you're not using self raising flour, you can use one teaspoon of baking powder. If you have used one cup of flour, I know some of you are wondering why has she not put baking powder and she's making mandazis. So that's the reason I had already used self-raising flour. I think that's a very important uh, key point to note because your mandazes will not raise if you've not added baking powder. My dough is ready. Just going to put it in here and cover it with a clean film. So I'll just cover this with clean film. for some minutes for some minutes and then I'll check on it later So we're going to leave this for 15 minutes, then we will come and 
start making the mandazis. As we wait for the dough to rise, let's make some tea. So I have already put my water and my tea leaves here. Let's bring that to boil and then we add our milk. So our tea is boiling. Let's add some milk. Mandazi, I'm not going to use flour on the surface, I'm going to use oil. So the reason as to why I'm using oil, it's because if I use if I use uh, flour, it will make the pan burn the pan that I'll be using to fry so also on your rolling pin you apply the oil and then just roll it this will help your using oil helps to make sure that your oil does not burn Don't mind the sheep. We are not eating sheep. <laughs> we are eating mandazi. So don't make it too thin. If I get too thin, it won't rise. So let me go ahead and start cutting. So let's go on and start cutting. to wait for the oil to be hot and then we're going I'll just transfer my cut mandazis to this other side for easy movement this is how I do it first we use my clean film Thank you. 
hier sehen mein Tons. So this is how they are looking, as you can see. This is ready. So this is how the mandazis look like. I'm going to serve. So guys, the mandazis are ready as you can see. They are ready and they look yummy. So let me test them. Look at that. Just look at that. Mm. Mm. Whoa, guys, these mandazis are the best. Just look at that. They are very soft. They are well cooked. They are tasty. Woo, you should try my recipe, guys, and let me know how it goes. Meanwhile, let me enjoy my breakfast, and let's get to the next cooking episode.